During the past year, many investors observed multi-passenger car travel decreasing with a corresponding increase in delivery vehicles as Americans responded to the COVID pandemic. In commercial aviation, a similar shift has been taking place. Since the start of the year, air cargo volumes have risen sharply, reaching levels last seen before the pandemic started. Additionally, we are seeing airline passenger demand starting to materialize, especially in the U.S., as TSA security checkpoint volumes have approached over a million passengers a day. In January, industry-wide cargo volumes were higher by 1.1%, and this is versus the pre-crisis levels of January 2019. Drivers of air cargo demand related to manufacturing and economic activity remained generally supportive of a rebound in the commercial air cargo industry. As a result, aircraft parts demand is up and projected to grow, especially in the aftermarket or secondary market. Even if planes carry fewer passengers than pre-pandemic levels, as long as they are flying, there is a solid base of parts needed to be replaced based on cycle counts, takeoffs and landings, regardless of whether the bellies of cargo aircraft are full or the seats in the planes are full. Alger has exposure to parts through some great small to mid-sized industrial companies. We've been positioned for the potential recovery of commercial aviation cargo and ultimately passenger travel through firms that could see stronger revenue as the vaccine rollout continues. Companies involved with the parts, maintenance, training, air traffic control systems, and even production of the fleet. Examples include a ball bearings manufacturer offering high precision aerospace, airframe control, and thin section industrial ball bearings. The engineered product segment consists of engineered hydraulics, valves, fasteners, precision mechanical components used in aircraft and submarine applications, as well as aerospace and defense aftermarket services. This company is presently held in the Alger small cap focus strategy. Another example is an aftermarket manufacturer engaged in the design, manufacture, and sale of aerospace defense and electronic-related products and services. It operates through its flight support group and electronic technologies group segment and is presently held in the Alger mid-cap focus strategy. And lastly, we have an aftermarket manufacturer engaged in the production of engineered aerospace components systems and subsystems. It develops, produces, and markets systems and components that provide power to or control power of the aircraft utilizing electronic, fluid, power, and mechanical motion control technologies. And it also develops, produces, and markets systems and components that are used in non-power airframe applications utilizing airframe and cabin structure technologies. And we hold this company in the Alger Dynamic Opportunities Strategy. As you can see, Alger is very excited about the possible resumption of commercial aviation traffic. And we're optimistic about the exposure we are offering our clients. We will continue to monitor the space closely and seek to potentially benefit from additional opportunities.